Celebrity couples break up all the time. Even though it's pretty shocking, most of the time we move along and forget about the relationship. But some couples are so iconic, we can't help but root for them to get back together till the end of time. Let's get into the top 10 celebrities who would break the internet if they got back together. In at number 10, Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick. Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick first got together in 2006, and we saw their love blossom on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. But even though things started off strong, they quickly went downhill after the show showcased numerous cheating rumors and nights out at the club without Kourtney. It was clear that Scott was the black sheep of the family, and the entire family wanted Kourtney to leave him. Instead, she got pregnant, and throughout their on and off again relationship, they had three kids together. The first breakup happened in 2009 amid cheating rumors, but they got back together when Kourtney learned she was pregnant. They broke up again in 2010, but were back together by 2012 and had a daughter, Penelope. They had son Rain in 2014, and since then they've mostly been off. Even though they don't have a romantic relationship, they have a close friendship and tight co-parenting relationship. Scott is also a mainstay on their show, and fans constantly want this couple back together. However, that's most likely never going to happen now that Courtney is engaged to Travis Barker. But I'm sure Scott is still holding out hope that that relationship will fail. In at number 9, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. I really thought these two were soulmates that would stand the test of time. But sadly, they did not, and they are now in one of the messiest divorces we've seen. After a whirlwind moments in 2012 that ended with an announcement of Kim's pregnancy with their first child, Northwest, that December, Kim and Kanye were engaged in October 2013 and married in the spring of 2014. In this time, the couple had four children, bought a massive house, and considerably increased their fortunes. But that all came to an end in 2021 when Kim officially announced that she was divorcing Kanye. This did not come as a shock to fans because Kanye had been ranting on Twitter about his wife and sharing private details with the world on a whim. Now that Kim is publicly dating a new man, Pete Davidson, things have gotten much worse and Kanye is constantly attacking Kim. If these two got together, I seriously do not think anyone would believe it. And at number 8, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I'm sure we all know about this utter disaster. When they first met, Pitt was married to fellow A-lister Jen Aniston, and they seemed to have the perfect marriage. But then the movie Mr. and Mrs. Smith happened, and Brad and Angelina caught feelings for one another. It's not clear if they had a physical affair or just an emotional one, but shortly after, Brad left Jen and moved on with Angelina almost immediately, making it clear that she was the reason their otherwise perfect relationship ended. Brad and Angelina were together from 2005 to 2016, having six kids along the way. They are now divorced and seem to be on very bad terms, so it would be a huge shock if these two reconciled. In at number 7, Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan. This is another couple that fell in love on set. Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan seem meant to be together after meeting on the set of Step Up in 2006. They married in 2009 and had a happy nine years together until it suddenly ended in 2018. In their breakup announcement, the pair seemed on the same page, but fans were devastated. The long statement said in part, quote, absolutely nothing has changed about how much we love one another. But love is a beautiful adventure that is taking us on different paths right now. The pair also denied that they split because of any betrayals or loss of love. Adding, quote, there are no secrets nor salacious events at the root of our decision. Just two best friends realizing it's time to take some space and help each other live the most joyous, fulfilled lives as possible. As of now, both parties have moved on with other people, but neither of them have been married again. Fans are hoping there's a reconciliation in the future. And at number six, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. Sometimes I forget this couple is no longer together because of how long they were an item. These two started dating when they were both pretty young, after meeting on the set of The Last Song in 2009. Then they got engaged in 2012, when Cyrus was 19 and Hemsworth was 22. But only a year later, the engagement was called off, and they split up for three years before finding their way back to each other. This time, it was the real deal, and they made their love official by getting married in December of 2018. But once again, it sadly did not last, and they split by the next summer. At that point, they had been together for over 10 years. The two finalized their divorce in January of 2020. Since they split, it seems like Miley's completely changed as a person and has really come into her own. So it'd be really surprising if they got back together. It would kind of seem like Miley was regressing to her past self. To be honest, I'm not sure I even want them together again. Halfway at number five, Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. Somehow we thought these two were the perfect couple, even though Kristen looked in pain most of the time that she was around Rob. It wasn't his fault, she just wasn't able to be her true self until she got out of that relationship. They were together for about three years, from 2009 to 2012, 
and seemed to rekindle their relationship for a bit in 2013 before breaking up again. Their split was at the center of drama when it was exposed that Kristen cheated on Rob with director Rupert Sanders, who was married with kids at the time. These two seem genuinely happy now without each other. Rob's in a long-term relationship with Suki Waterhouse, and Kristen just got engaged to Dylan Meyer. In at number 4, Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams This couple proves the old saying that hate and love are so close in the brain, one can turn to the other pretty fast. When these two first met on the set of The Notebook, they hated each other. At one point, Gosling wanted McAdams recast with a new actor, allegedly. But I guess after reading all their heartfelt lines and doing the makeout scenes, they ended up turning from hate to love. The couple started dating in 2005 and stayed together for two years, but in the end, they split. At some point, they won Best Kiss at the MTV Awards, and wow, is it steamy. It's been close to a decade since they got together, so it's safe to say they've moved on since then. But it would be pretty awesome to see them back together again. In at number 3, Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz now that Lisa announces that she's divorcing from longtime husband Jason Momoa, a reunion between this iconic couple could be on the horizon. The actor and musician got married in 1987, and their divorce was finalized in 1993. This stylish couple was very amicable when they split, and did everything possible to create a healthy environment for their daughter, Zoe Kravitz. Kravitz even told people their relationship is now more like brother and sister, and he's buddies with Bonet's ex-husband, Jason Momoa, as well. It kind of seems like they're one big, happy family in a way. Lisa also shares two kids with Momoa. But after news of their separation started, some people have been thinking a reconciliation between Lisa and Lenny is not out of the question. And at number two, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. Even though Brad dumped Jen for what he thought was better, decades later there's a much better chance that Jen and Brad will reconcile than he and Angelina. It's been 15 years since the two actors divorced, they've both married other people in the meantime, and hopes for reconciliation still haven't stopped. It just might be the longest mourned celebrity relationship of all time. Pitt and Aniston first met in 1994 via a blind date set up by their managers. They instantly hit it off, dated for years before getting married in 2004, but only a year after they got married it was over by 2005. In their joint divorce statement, they claim that tabloid fodder was not the reason for their split. But since he and Angelina got together right after, it's pretty hard to deny. They finalized their divorce in October of 2005. Aniston remarried with Justin Theroux in August of 2015 before their divorce in 2017. Both people are currently single and were seen getting cozy at an award show in 2021, so there is hope for the future. And finally at number one, Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. Anyone who was a preteen when High School Musical came out is probably still rooting for this couple. These two were love interests in the hit movie series that premiered on Disney, and their spark on screen translated over to real life. This couple officially started dating in 2006, and they stayed together for five years. While this couple didn't make things official until 2006, they were reportedly getting super close in 2005. The first few years was smooth sailing, but by 2007, breakup rumors started swirling around the couple, which they denied. After this, engagement rumors then started to surface, but Vanessa admitted she felt too young to get married. At this point, both parties started to get doubts. They both felt too young to be tied down. Zach says he remembers his friends teased him for not playing the field in the height of his high school musical days. Unfortunately, by 2010, the couple decided to go their separate ways. There's been rumors that they considered getting back together multiple times, but nothing has ever come from it. That's all for the list. Let me know your thoughts below. Before I go, I'm going to shout out some comments from Top 10 Reasons Ellen DeGeneres was cancelled again. Jamal said, To be fair, Ellen was never interesting. She voiced Story in Finding Nemo, and I don't give a crap about Pixar movies. I mean, that's kind of true. Other than being a host, and I guess her whole show is you know interviewing other people I really don't understand how there was so much hype around her like she's just an interviewer I don't know and Danny said I can't stand Trisha but she really needs to teach me the speed reading I don't understand how she does it that's actually very very impressive to read so fast and to say the words I think mostly right pretty impressive then Irish Texan said Ellen being friends with George Bush does not rate in top 10 uh, I agree with that I, I don't I didn't understand the pushback for that. I mean, I included it on the list because a lot of people feel that it was controversial. I don't really feel that it's all that controversial. It's like you should be able to be friends with who you want to be friends with. And honestly, most of the time, a lot of friends probably don't have the same political beliefs and like, that's okay. I mean, or else literally our world would not function if we all had to like have the same beliefs and stuff. I don't know. All right, guys, that's all for the video today. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith, and we'll catch you in the next one.